Okay, so Armored Core 6 brand new Fires of Rubicon trailer dropped uh, literally minutes ago. Yeah, they uh, they just end up dropping this thing and it, it's all like, just go and check it out. So we're going to check it out. Uh, this is the gameplay, official gameplay reveal and release date trailer for Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. We see, uh, we're seeing the Deluxe Edition, Standard Edition comes with just a game, Deluxe Edition comes with a game, digital art book and a soundtrack. Eh. Uh, pre-order for a big old mecha dude there. He looks like a transformer. Cool. Um, so once again, uh, since the last time I covered uh, this, it was basically I was saying like I had never really played an Armored Core game. Since then, I've played one through like up to the PS3 era, basically. Uh, I think it's like what four and five or whatever is the ones I, I just haven't gotten hands on with, or maybe it's also three. I can't remember. Anyways, like all the earlier ones I played. So, uh, I'm going in there with that perspective on the gameplay on this and everything. Let's see exactly what's good. What's up with it. Hopefully it looks good, plays good. And, uh, I mean, this game has giant shoes to fill because of course Elden Ring, you know? So let's, uh, let's check it out. Let's see what, what's good. What's going on with it. Bandai Namco. Mm -hmm. We're close to Rubicon. Wake the dog up. Arr, and then and then it drops. <laughs> Handler Walter verified. Activating cerebral coral control device. That's an AI. Feed the fire. Hmm. It's not only on the surface of the planet, but also under. Let the last cinders burn. This feels so Dark Souls like. Which, uh, again, that's what I was saying. They, C4621 has awakened. they definitely need to go very Dark Souls with a We're, okay. We're on that like Elden Ring scale. All right, it, it looks it looks a lot like you know, like, like what Armor Core normally looks like. Definitely doesn't look on the same level as the CGI trailer. <laughs> this is the reason why we always say you know CGI trailers are one thing, but yeah, you just roll into the tank and be like. <laughs> So I wonder, is there going to be a person inside the armor, armor core, or is it going to be just like an AI unit that you're controlling? One of the infamous handler Walter's hounds. Interesting. You ready to climb the wall? Raven. Priority subject for termination. Okay, boss fight. The coral the generator. Watch out. Big major boss fights. Kind of like dodge back and forth. Ooh. Fires of Rubicon out August 25th, 2023. Pre-order now for more. <laughs> um, okay, okay, all right. Let's uh let's cut the audio, give uh, a little train of thought here. So it seems like we're gonna be doing a lot more like space-wise. That was one thing that's you know, it, it was it's it's like implied that you're kind of working with space a little bit in Armored Core, but it never actually, you know, they never could fully show it from what I've seen of Armored Core. Again, I, I still need to maybe get hands on with the PS3 uh, versions of the game too. I, I heard that those are like the best ones is, is 
you know, the, the last couple of them because they, they started to round out the ideas of what they've been trying to do with Army Corps. This feels like it's like, this feels like Miyazaki's full, like, um, uh, vision and idea and just like what he wants to fully do with Armored Core finally realized, um, which is cool to see that, he, you know, the technology has finally caught up to what his vision is. Um, so that could make this probably like one of the best Armored Cores ever in that aspect. Now, for somebody that that's like me, that's, I, I just got very bored with the structure of Armored Core. This is kind of getting my attention but at the same time it's kind of still feels a bit like what all the other core armored cores have been and i think what i would really like to see is just like give me something you know i'm not saying like i need this whole like cinematic giant you know cutscene after cutscene story mode going on but i would like to see something of like okay give me a reason to run into here other than just like i'm a merc going on a contract like i'm still looking for that thing that really ropes me in to be like oh shit, there's a reason why we're all doing it. You know, like I have to bring this back to Elden Ring because this is Bandai Namco and that was their last big thing that they did. You know, it's like, uh, you know, what, who's Queen America? You know, what was going on with, you know, the death rune and the ring itself and, you know, the Elden Ring and all that. And like, oh, I want to become Elden Lord and, you know, this and that and the other thing. So I'm, I'm just like, I'm looking for something to grasp onto of to make me really care. Why why are we jumping into a robot flying all over the place? It's cool that you can do it. it you know, the, the, the premise of Armored Core is really cool. It's just, I'm just still looking for that one thing that makes me go, yeah, I want to jump into this. And there's this is the reason why we're doing this because something you know it, it that still feels like it's it's a broad point that is missing in Armored Core, but um seeing some of the boss fights like this right here this is definitely going on to that more of kind of like a soulsy vibe of like okay you have this giant boss fight you're going in there and you're trying to you know become a, a better mech um driver i guess you would you would say and you're trying to you know increase your skills increase your loadouts and everything to to fully take on these boss fights like this Again, that's cool. Um, it's very similar to like, you know, that's that's where Souls games got it from was Armored Core of the whole thing of like, you know, building up your repertoire and your your whole build, uh, your um, your class build, I guess you could say, um, which it's not really so much of the class build, but it's your arsenal. There we go. Uh, building up your arsenal to the point where it's like, okay, I can come into this boss fight. I can take the hits. I can, you know, hit really hard also. Um, and that tenfold for armored core because that's basically what the game is all about is you know building up your your mech warrior your armored core units to be able to go you know go into these fights and everything now i am seeing a lot more uh you know what let's actually let's turn down the speed on this just like let's just half speed it when when you're flying so seeing this of like dodging back and forth and everything where you have you have the boss fight here and you're like dodging all around while it's trying to shoot at you it, it, that looks really really cool that looks like it's going to be a lot easier to maneuver the rig than it was in previous titles because before it was just like it, you go flying and your camera is just so hard to hang on to again they could have fixed that already with the ps3 stuff i played the stuff before the ps3 um and I was just like, man, this is so hard to control. And that was my number one thing about Armored Core 6. I'm like, let's make this control maybe a little bit more like Titanfall in, in an aspect of it, of just like where, you know, your feet are, are being very much like controlled by your left stick. And then your camera is kind of, instead of it being like the, the shoulder cam that is or your target reticle, that, that is your camera. Let's just make the camera just be its its own separate thing that is flying behind you. And then you have, you know, you're a targeter that automatically targets and everything. Um, that seemed to be like one thing that everybody could kind of agree on is that the controls could be a little bit better. Um, and then the one thing that everybody was also really like, oh, don't get rid of is the weight of the units, which again, sure. You can have to wait there, but at the same time, you need to be able to to make this really fun. You need to make it so you do have to still use your brain of like, okay, I need to dodge. I need to learn the timing of the boss fight and everything. And that is what From Software has um, been like an expert at doing is the boss fight in their games. So that's, again, 
you can have all that stuff, but I still need I still need something of a really good storyline, which I'm still kind of cur- I'm curious to see what all this like feed the fire and the cinder and this and that. Um, wouldn't that be something if Armored Core was like a prequel to Dark Souls? Like they did all this stuff, and then humanity just blew itself up into oblivion. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just I'm spitballing there. Um, they they wouldn't do that, but it, it would be it would be kind of a fun little thing to think about of like oh. Humanity destroyed itself, and then they turned in. They they opened up the the evil that is the Dark Soul Hour, um, the Cinders and all that. I definitely feel like there is kind of like that Soulsy vibe going on with this, though, with the, especially with the Cinders burn and all that. And it looks like the you know the the sky is is definitely like you know you have the fire across the sky and everything that's happening there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Just like. It's got me kind of curious, but it's not fully roping me in of of like, okay, here's the here's the reason why you should care about this story because this bad thing over here is happening. So you have to come in to rectify bad thing, beat up bad guy. I just, I again, I'm going back to the whole thing of like, you know, maybe there's like that one central boss character in this thing that you you're going through to try and you know level up or take over territories away from or something and you know that's the whole reason why you're you're doing all these fights again i just i don't see it in here and i'm i'm, I'm curious to see if there even is if if we haven't seen it by now there probably isn't that. And it's just you're running through, you're becoming a merc, you're you're upgrading your suits and everything, just like all the other ones that was okay, but not the greatest thing in the world. So again, there's some cool stuff in this, but at the same time, just like, man, like tie it together. Like, you know, like like you have the technology, you have the ability to do it. I could see the reason why they didn't do it back in the day, because you know they only had so much technology to do only so much with everything but now you do so go all out with it why not you know make it the coolest thing that you can possibly make it give everybody this like this whole like i can't stand that that main boss dude i'm gonna go and beat his ass you know that's what i'm looking for um and i'm still not seeing it <laughs> i'm still not really seeing it. i get this is just a gameplay trailer and it's not a story trailer but there might be another story trailer that that has something like that in it but um, I don't know. I don't know. Like it's, it's cool at the same time. I'm just like, am I super hyped up for this? Nothing in this gets me super hyped. I, I just, again, this is just not my genre, but I definitely see why it would be really cool for a lot of people. So, um, yeah, yeah. I, I, again, too, like these boss fights do look really cool with, you know, zipping and zinging and everything in between. I'm curious to see too, if you make a different build, to where it's like you're you, instead of having uh, legs, you have like the the track uh, wheel kind of situation going on, where it's like you're kind of more of like you know, your bottom half of you is more like a tank, a regular tank, and then your top half is it has the arms to it. Um, I'm kind of curious to see how different the boss fight would be with that build over the top of the jetpack and being able to run, have like two legs like that and run back and forth. Because that's all we're seeing right here is that you're flying, you're doing a lot more flying then you are kind of on the ground base. More questions than there is answers in this trailer. I think that's just popping up for me. Um, but it's cool seeing it. It's cool seeing that, you know, we, we will be getting a whole full on, like there's a collector's edition with the, um, with the figurine in there. And we're getting pin badges, the art books and all that stuff. Um, it's cool that they're doing a deluxe edition over here. There we go. Um, Pre-order, you get the Merlander C3 G13. Who knows how good this is going to be until we get into the game. And if you get the Deluxe Edition art book and soundtrack, normal stuff, not nothing too big. I would probably just go with the Standard Edition myself because art books and soundtracks get put online. Let's just be honest. Let's just just be honest. Uh, the pre-order is not bad. You get you get the extra something to to run in the game there. So. If they just give that to you, that could go a long ways with helping you get some cash flow up to get another bigger unit, you know? So that's cool. Um, yeah. Uh, PS5 and 4, Series S, X, and Xbox One and on Steam. So this is a cross-platform game. Man, that really... 
I, I guess that would be a final one last final talking point in this. That's the reason why it's looking like this. And so the first row that we saw looked way more shinier and spiffier in this, which it, it was just a CGI trailer. We didn't know if it was actual in-game gameplay or if it was a CGI. I can't remember if the trailer said it was gameplay footage or not. Um, but uh, no, I think it said it's not actual in-game footage. This is just for trailer stuff. I do believe it said that. Um, again, that's the reason why it's this level of detail in it because they have to make it work on, you know, the the former the, the last gen hardware there we go the, the like the ps4 and the xbox one it has to work on also so that's definitely going to be holding this back some um i'm also curious to see too going forward like can this game engine that they're i'm betting you this game this is running on the same engine that like elden ring ran on i'm wondering if that game engine might be getting a little bit old like they might need to actually overhaul the game engine in the future here like in the next, like after whatever they're working on after this and after the uh, Shadow of the Erd Tree DLC, that might be the next, you know, whatever comes after that, we might see that next level of detail and shine and polish and everything. Um, hopefully, hopefully, you know, they, they can end up doing that. Uh, get, you know, make a really, really cool overhaul to their game engine to make it really next gen and just leave behind last gen. Just like we're two and a half years into this current generation of console hardware. We should just be focusing on that instead of having to dole the game down to, you know, to look like this versus that other trailer that they had. Just saying, just saying. It looks, it, I mean, this looks good. And there's a lot of stuff happening on screen. It's just there is still that level of detail and polish that they showed in the other trailer. So, anyways, um, yeah, yeah. I think we'll leave it there. Uh, again, go pre-order if you, if you like it. August 25th. That is, uh, how many months away are we from August 25th? So yeah, there's still some months out here. Okay. So that's what one, two, three, four, almost four months out. This is what the game is going to look like when it launches. If you're, if you're going to sit there and try and say, well, they have, they have a few months, they can polish it. They can work on the graphics. No, this is what the game is going to look like. Anything that they're working on after this is either polishing of to make the game you know run smooth uh on all hardware because right now they're probably in optimization mode of trying to get everything working really you know frame rates smoothened out and everything on all the hardware and then also day one patch so they'd probably be working on they, they, they're probably starting to work on at this point um but this what you're seeing in this trailer that's what the game is going to be so again we'll see what ends up happening with it anyways um that's going to wrap it up uh, both digital and disc based versions of the game are going to be available. Let's go check it out. If you like Armored Core, go pre order it and all that stuff. You get yourself a, a cool, cool new suit, Armored Core unit. <laughs> um, I may end up having some of the PS3 era Armored Cores on the channel in the future. We'll see. So, like, subscribe, share, and all that stuff. Hit the bells and notifications and everything to stay up to date with that. And uh, yeah, yeah, I will. Uh, I will probably check this out when it comes out. I probably will end up pre-ordering it and everything. I'm not super into it, but I'll give it a once over. I'll give it a try. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what ends up happening with it. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for stopping by. And as always, I will see you next time.